Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great Word video for you today. If you want to be a Word power user, I'm going to show you five items you should know, and I'm going to make this really easy for you. So you can follow along with me. Really easy to start Microsoft Word from scratch. There is no file to download. I'm going to discuss the status bar. I'm going to discuss page breaks, section break next page, section break continuous, and finally, column break. This video could get just a little lengthy, not too long, but I will put bookmarks or chapters down below. And let's go ahead and dive in. So we've got Word going, we got a blank document. I'm gonna click on page one. My status bar is at the very bottom. Notice my zoom is in the bottom right corner. And in the bottom left corner is page one. I want you to turn on the word section. It is not turned on by default. So just right click on your status bar. There's all your customized status bar options. If you notice the second from the top says section, I'm going to click it, click back in your document, look in the bottom left corner. And I hope it says section one next to the word page. And it does every word document has at least one section. I'm going to keep this simple. I'm going to type my first name, press enter. I'm going to do an equal symbol, R A N D, open and close print, no spaces, press enter. That'll put random text on your screen. So I want to make a page break. I see people do this all the time and it drives me crazy. Enter, 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 enter until they get to that next page. I hit backspace, by the way. Don't do that. Make a page break correctly. Two methods to make a page break. The keyboard method, the mouse method. I'm going to do the keyboard first. It's one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts. Control enter. Look in the bottom left. I still have section one, but now I have page two of two. I'm going to do an undo. Control Z. If you are a mouse person, by default, you'll be on the home tab. Go to the layout tab. The very first group is called page setup. That is a group in there is the word breaks and I'm covering page column section break next page section break continuous. You need to master these. There is page break exactly the same as control enter click it once. And now we are on page two. I'm going to just type in my last name and press enter. I could keep on typing on this page. So when would you use a section break next page? Here is a great example. I've got two pages. They're both portrait. I need the third page in my document to go landscape. A page break is not any good to you. So let's go to breaks. Section break next page. Before I click this, notice I got section one in the bottom left. I'm about to have section two. And I do. The page, it looks just like a page break. I'm actually going to type in page three here to keep up with this. And it is portrait, which is what page one and two are. But because I did a section break next page instead of a page break, I can come under page setup orientation and I can make this section landscape. There it is. I am going to zoom out in the bottom right just to show you where we're at. Page one's portrait, page two is portrait, page three is landscape. How many sections do I have? Two. I got three pages, but two sections. These first two pages are section one. This is section two. So let's do another page break and then another section break. I'm going to zoom back in. I need page four to also look like page three, which is section two. So that's just a page break. Control enter. So this is still landscape, by the way. I want to go back to portrait. So one more breaks. Section break. Next page, you'll get section three. I believe we got page five. I hope I'm not looking orientation portrait. 
So do the section break next page and then do change the orientation if you need to. And this is page five, excellent. Just real quick, I'm gonna just zoom this out real fast. Let me pull this out. There you go, back in. I'm gonna stay here. How about another page break and watch this. Page six, still in section three, I need to get some text on our screen. We did equals rand open and close to start this video session, but I need multiple paragraphs. I'm making this up. I want 15 paragraphs with seven sentences in each one. That is it right there. If you wanted nine paragraphs with four sentences in each one, it would be nine comma four. Again, no spaces, press enter, and now we got some more text on our screen. I'm going to just scroll up, see where we're at. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to zoom out just a tad so I can show you this. This is major. Microsoft Word, you can either do, I'm going to do this two ways. I want this paragraph right here that I'm just selecting. That is, that is also one column. But from right here where I clicked, that is your insertion point. If you want to call it the cursor, I will take that. From right there to the end of the document, I want to see two columns, two columns side by side. So this is not a section break next page. This is going to be a section break continuous. And look what it says here. Inserts the section break and starts the new section on the same page. Because that first paragraph needs to be one column. The rest needs to be two. When I click this, so before I click it, Notice I've got section three in the bottom because it looks like nothing happens when you click this. Watch this. But it gave me section four. So now I can make everything else, two columns, three columns, whatever I want to do, two columns. So everything else right here down is section four and is two columns. Pretty cool. So that is when you use section break continuous. Now there's one more I haven't done. Column break. So here's when you do a column break. I'm scrolling down here and I'm going to do it right here on this page right here. I'm going to zoom out just a tad. I don't care what the text says. I just care that you can see where I'm at. There that works. Close enough. I'm making this up. I need to put a picture right there where I clicked in front of the W and win. Again, I've already said this, don't do this. Enter, 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 enter. Do not do that. This is when I've got columns. I've got more than one column. So this is a column break. Breaks, column break. Look at the little icon they're even showing you. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good image. It's showing you that it's going to take whatever's on the bottom left and move it up to the right. So watch when I click. Perfect. Now I've got room to put my picture down here and what was in the bottom left moved to the bottom right, right there. I'm going to do it one more time for you. I'm making this up for some reason right here. I want to do another column break. There you go. So there's some column breaks for you. I need to say this, I covered the five points already. I highly encourage you to know how to go to the home tab and turn on show hide, which is in the paragraph group. Because when you turn on show hide, you can see all your breaks. So in case, this is an example, in case I like, okay, I didn't mean to break it there. By turning on show hide, I can say, okay, I don't want to get, I don't want that break. So I'm going to delete a column break. Delete. I'll do it one more time. Column break. I don't want that one now. Delete. My section breaks should show up here. Let me just see. Oh, there's my page break. That one's okay. If you don't want a section break, you would click on it and hit delete. So it's important that you know how to turn on show hide. And by the way, that one says section break next page. There's your page break. Uh, sometimes you will not see the section break continuous, but it's right there next to the word coordinated. So show hide. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel 
If you have any comments or questions about this video, please let me know again in the comment section. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.